See, the export files are available on this page for 48 hours after which time they are deleted. So it's available only for 48 hours. So if you do not download the export file in 48 hours, that export well, that will be deleted, and then again you have to start an export process. So that is again for security purpose. They don't want the download file to be there for a ever and all, right? Clear on that? Got it. So we talked about the import and export. Okay. So when you do an import, after your import is done, you receive an email. When you do an export, after your export is processed, you receive an email again. Okay. So let us now, you know, we uh, first of all, let me ask you a question. Are we clear on the import and export thing that uh, we just talked about? Do we understand what exactly it is and how it is working? In case we are clear with that, let me ask you a question. Do you feel that there are you know uh, any challenges, small small challenges, and before that? Uh, let me ask Vijay Vijay, uh, did you receive an email after this import was completed? Can you just go and check if you have received an email after the import was done? Yeah. You have received that email, right? Yes, yeah, I did receive. Yeah, it shows uh, the result number of accounts created for and uh, got a lot of things like number of accounts, zero, contact, and uh, it don't have any link. In it. No, so link will be there for export, not for import. Okay. Right? Yeah, I received only one email. That's only for import. Yeah, so export will take some time and that is why you have not received that thing. So, I will just make you the presenter. Can you show us the email that you have received after import? Okay. So once you try to, we have understood import and export, right? Now I'm just going to talk a little about the challenges that we might have with this import and export process. So let us uh, look into the import thing. After your import is done, this is the kind of an email that they send to you, right? Now, who can tell me, I mean, is there a challenge if this kind of a report is sent? Do we need any additional information which is not being shared on this email? So it sends us uh, details like how many accounts were created, how many contacts were created, how many accounts were updated, contacts were updated, that sort of thing, right? Yeah. 
that is what it gives us but practically think of it let's say right now i was trying to import four accounts if i am trying to import for example 1000 accounts okay and out of 1000 it's you know after the import process is done if it sends us uh, sends me an email saying that out of 1980 were created and 20 were not created due to errors okay now do you think that information is fine i mean you can work with that much of information if at the end of it it simply says that 980 were created and 20 were not created now the big challenge for you will be that which 20 were not created right so if it gives you a detailed log of it that will be better but this import wizard does not provide that it only gives you the numbers right that is a challenge right now what will happen in case there are certain errors let's say 20 25 errors and it simply gives you a you know, number saying that okay 20 accounts or 20 contacts were not created then you cannot figure out which 20 contacts were not created and it becomes a little difficult so for that there is another option or another way of importing the data which is through a data loader okay so what is data loader data loader is a software okay standalone application which can be installed on your computers and you can do the data import through that also right that is something which will give you a detailed log so i just want all of you to uh, log in into your, into your salesforce developer edition let us you know download and install data loader so please log in into your salesforce developer editions all of you go to setup data management under data management you will find an option called data loader select data loader and then click on download the data loader fine so if you want you can do it later on as well you can click on the download data loader after the session also and uh, once this is downloaded you have to go and install it so you'll have to go and run the exe file the way we download any other software so this data loader is uh, you know a standalone application which is used for data management now this gives you a few advantages it has a few advantages over the import wizard okay Now you must be thinking that when we have that import option available directly why would i why do i need to uh, you know download and install an application and then use it right downloading the complete data loader application and installing it and then using it what are the advantages why would i do that you will do it because data loader will you know after the import is done it gives you a detailed log okay so that is a big advantage Practically speaking, in case uh, you do not get detail log, detail log means which records were created, which were not created, which had error. You need to know that. If you don't, uh, you know, get that information, it will be difficult for you to deal with it. So, data loader gives you detail logs. Right then data loader basically can import